Have you ever looked at your grade book completely overwhelmed and not known where to start? Me too. My name is Jenna Roller and I'm a senior at Texas Tech University. I'm also a level two Google educator. Today, we're gonna to discuss a feature of Google Sheets called conditional formatting. I will show you how to format your online gradebook to view grades, growth, and individual progress. We're going to learn how to go from this messy gradebook to an organized, color-coded, easy-to-read gradebook. Let's go over to my sample. On this gradebook, it is titled Reading. This is a sample gradebook for a class in the subject Reading. In this gradebook, I have five assignments and I decided I would like to color code them for the approaches, meets, and masters levels. This tool is highly customizable and be can be used for any standards across a campus or district. For our district, we are going to use the standards of 50, 59 and below is approaches, 60 to 80 is meets, and 80 to 100 is masters. So let's apply that formatting to the sheet. First, you're going to click this top left-hand corner. This box is going to select the entire sheet so that your formatting will stay the same across your entire gradebook, even if you add new assignments. Then you're going to slide to the Format tab. Under the Format tab, you will see Conditional Formatting. Click here. Then the Conditional Format Rules box will appear. Here is where we're going to add our rules to make our sheet color-coordinated. First, you're going to see your range. Because we've already selected the box, we do not need to touch the range. Under the format rules, you're going to see this one that says format cells if. Click here. First, we're going to start with a master's subject. For masters, we're going to click is greater than or equal to. And we're going to enter 80. Because if a grade is greater or equal to 80, that means the student has mastered. We're going to leave the default color because it's already green. That's the color we want for our masters. I'm going to click add another rule. We're going to add our meets category now. For the meets category, you're going to want to change the format cells if to is between. You're going to click is between 60 and 79. Then you're going to change your color to yellow. This is going to show you any grades between 60 and 79, which would be our meets category. Then we're going to add our last one. This is going to be our approaches. So our approaches is going to be less than. We don't want it to be equal to because we already have our 60 here. So less than 60. We're going to leave that just how it is. We're going to change this to red. This will then show you your approaches category. You can click the done box and X out of the conditional formatting rules. And it's that simple. Our entire gradebook has been color coordinated. It's easy to see the students who have had progress in their grades, the students who might need a little bit more help. And it's easy to analyze your data from your gradebook just by looking at it. I hope this color coordinating way really helped you set up your gradebook in a way that is easy to read and it's easy to analyze your data. Let's go back to our presentation. By doing conditional formatting in Google Sheets, you're going to turn your gradebook into an organized and formatted gradebook. By improving your organization, you will improve your print planning, which will improve your data overall. Thanks for watching.